right now. You are now tuned in. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kinesia. If you're new here, welcome. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. If you're not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you never miss another upload from me. So today, you know, we decided to take off our robe, but we're still makeupless. <laughs> How is everybody doing? How are you feeling? Me today, I felt good. I actually woke up and worked out this morning with my cousin. We did a Zoom workout, so we watched the same workout and did it on, um, not Zoom, what's the other one called? house party the house party app so we used that and we did a workout today which was really fun so I'm feeling a little bit energized so I said hey let me film some videos and if you hear any noises in the background everybody's home so <laughs> we're trying to film through a pandemic but in today's video it's just a quick video I wanted to share with you guys I wanted to start incorporating things in my channel just to help with boosting your immune system because I think it's very important right now that we are focusing on boosting our immune system and making sure that we we are strong that we are healthy and that we can fight off anything that comes our way so what I wanted to share with you guys today is what I've been taking so what I'll be doing going forward is just sharing things that I've been taking um, some of them are things I've always taken and others are things that I've been incorporating now um, I, or things that I like to incorporate during like flu season and stuff like that but either way that's not important so today I wanted to share with you guys um, elderberry so this one is the nature's way Sambucus standardized elderberry for cold and flu and it's organic. and then the other brand that I've been trying lately as well is another organic one it's called Ciro I found it at my local health store near me and it's organic elderberry it fights off cold so you can take the kids one as well because essentially it's the same thing so elderberry is an amazing fruit it's an amazing antioxidant it has a high concentration of vitamin C which which is amazing for your immune system. What I'll do is I'll read you some details quickly, just giving you some information about elderberry. What I suggest is anything that I mention to you, anything that anybody mentions to you, I always suggest that you do your own research, you take a look at it, you read the ingredients, make sure it's not anything that you're allergic to, make sure it's something that you can take. Um, call a health line just to double check and ask some questions or contact your doctor's office to verify if it's something that you can take specifically for you. Because remember, everyone is different and even with herbal medicines you should always check because elderberry is a herbal medicine it's organic it's from a fruit um, it's from a plant as well so what I would suggest still even with those you should always double check and see if it's right for you because you could be allergic or you could have a reaction or there could be something in it that your body just doesn't like so always 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 do your own research so what I'll do quickly is I'll just read you what it says here so it says there are about 30 types of elder plants and trees found around the world the European version, which is also known as the Sambucus nigra, is one that is most closely tied to your health and healing. Its history dates as far back as 400 BC. Um, and the Hippocrates, the father of medicine, calls it the elderberry tree, the medicine chest. In um, herbal medicine, it's referred, elderberry is widely considered one of the world's most healing plants. So that alone should tell you that it's something that your body definitely needs definitely can be helpful with your immune system and also on my channel if you're familiar with my channel I like to share things that will help with your hair growth and it's very important that you have a strong immune system in order to for your hair to grow the way that you want it to grow I'm gonna do a future video on that and how your immune system ties in with your hair but today I'll just quickly go over the elderberry so it also states here that the berries and the flowers of the elderberry are packed with antioxidants and vitamins that boost your immune system they can help to tame inflammation, lessen stress, and help to protect your heart. It's amazing for heart health as well. It, some experts recommend that elderberry helps to prevent uh, any sort of cold or flu symptoms or help to ease cold or flu symptoms. It's also a treatment for these following things, constipation, joint and muscle pain, um, infections that um, affect how you breathe, so any sort of respiratory issues that you might be having, headaches, fevers, kidney problems, epilepsy, um, skin condition, stress, it also indicates on here HIV and AIDS. So what I'll do is I'll tell you really quickly the details it says on the bottle of the one that I am using. Um, it says that it's recommended that you take this during the first sign of any sort of symptoms or you can take it on a regular basis to just maintain good health. So you can take it two to four times a day, two teaspoons. Um, for adults, 10 to 14 year olds, one teaspoon, five to nine year olds, a half a teaspoon, two to four year olds, um, a quarter a teaspoon. This one indicates that for daily maintenance, adults can take two teaspoons 
spoons once per day if you just want to use it if you don't have any symptoms at all you don't have to take it that many times just once per day is enough another amazing way to take it is to infuse it into your sea moss um, if you do take sea moss that's another amazing way to incorporate elderberry i'll probably make a video of how i make mine i do have a video already on sea moss and the details just the benefits of it so i'll leave that link above for you but i do have some future future videos coming so i might incorporate that one as well but that's it guys i just wanted to come on here really quickly just to share with you something that you can start to maybe look into to see if you can incorporate it to help to boost your immune system have you heard of elderberry syrup have you heard of elderberries is it something that you're incorporating already leave me a comment down below i'm very interested to always see other people's experiences if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave those down below as well and i will see you guys in the next one bye